What's going on guys, it's David here, and surprise, surprise. Surprise, motherfucker. Matt Fraser wins another competition. What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. And for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is David, I talk all about everything that's going on in the world of CrossFit. So if you enjoy today's video, please make sure to hit that like button, as well as that subscribe button, because that lets me know I'm creating the kind of content that you guys wanna see. So in case you guys missed it, this past weekend, the Dubai CrossFit Championships took place, which is formerly the Dubai Fitness Championships. As far as overall standings go, Matt Frazier took first, uh, Goodmanson took second, and Willie Georges took third for the women. Sam Briggs took first, Jamie Green took second, and Sarah Sigmund's daughter took third. And for the teams, CrossFit Invictus took first, Team Omnicide took second, and Team Cassidy, Jen, Adrian, and Lucas, which I hope I pronounced that right or said that right, uh, took third. Uh, this was uh, officially the first sanctioned event for the CrossFit 2019 CrossFit Games competitive season. And this is a very important event because this is going to probably be the event that takes place that's going to have the most amount of issues as far as events going forward. But I think overall, everybody that participated had uh, it looks like they had a really good time. Another important highlight of this event is the fact that Sam Briggs took first. This is the first time that she's taken first place in any CrossFit sanctioned, we'll say, event since her first place finish in the 2013 CrossFit Games. Since then, she's had a couple fourth place finish and she had a ninth place finish with a second place finish in the women's 35 to 39 division last year. So it kind of, it's cool because it shows that age really isn't an issue anymore and anybody can dominate the playing field and anybody can essentially go to the games this year. And the fact that Sam Briggs, who is a machine, is able to essentially just kind of rise from the ashes and prove that she's still relevant um, in this day and age of CrossFit when most other legacy or OG CrossFitters are kind of not really in the competitive scene and she just comes in and just kind of takes charge is, is pretty dope. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in the next events um, or the next sanctioned CrossFit events that take place just because it's really anybody's game. I mean, when you have people that are um, uh, withdrawing from the competition, like for example, Laura Horvath, who took second at the CrossFit Games in 2018, now she had to withdraw from this event because she had back issues. So will she actually make it to the games? Who knows? But now we have such a longer season for people to really um, battle it out for a spot at the games. And with less spots now at the games in 2019, it's just a, a more competitive, more entertaining um, uh, landscape for the CrossFit games. And again, like I have said, it, this only means that more also companies can actually get involved, not just Reebok, because these events don't have to be Reebok labeled events. As you see all these athletes that were competing this weekend, some people had Reebok, some people had Nikes. So maybe we'll start seeing more products again coming out for the masses, starting with these higher elite CrossFit athletes. Now, another big thing that was in the news in regards to the Dubai Fitness Championships or the CrossFit Championships was an issue that took place um, during during the competition. And essentially what happened was Sam Dancer, who was on Team Invictus S, uh, was basically just kind of coming from behind to try to take the lead. Uh, it was him and another athlete, neck and neck, uh, neck and neck, about to cross the line, the finish line. And essentially what happened was, is both judges on both sides said that both athletes needed to bring the yoke um, a little bit more forward across the line because they hadn't fully crossed it. Both athletes rushed back to the yokes, picked the yokes back up, tried to move it a little bit more forward so that they can actually finish. And the other athlete ends up taking first before Sam dancing. Now, if you look at the footage afterwards, he like gets really pissed off, really upset. Um, and for quite some time after that event, he did get pretty upset. And he did apologize later on Instagram, uh, apologizing for his uh, sportsmanship and just kind of talking about how, you know, the what he displayed wasn't appropriate. and. For, yes, I, you know, I, I don't think, was it appropriate in any other instance, instance, you know, in everyday life, it probably wouldn't be appropriate if it was just like a normal training day, but for an athlete who's on a, essentially on the bubble, who is essentially trying to get to the CrossFit Games, who's trying to 
to compete at the most competitive level. I don't blame him for the reaction that he had. Again, I mean, it kind of goes back to the situation that uh, happened in uh, the 2018 games this last year with judges not counting reps or judges making mistakes. That is something that's gonna happen. And with athletes that are this competitive, they're going to get upset. And so, um, you know, it's, it's dope that he did recognize his frustration and his anger and he pointed it out and he called it out and he manned up to it as far as being a little bit excessive. But I don't think he was really at fault. And I, I hope that the judge, the person that was judging, didn't necessarily take that personally. Um, you know, I've been in situations where I've made calls on people and I've had them, you know, super pissed off at me during, for example, the open. Um, so it's just something that happens. It's, it's part of the competitive landscape. I get pissed off at people at times for, for shaving reps, for, for beating me in workouts. You know, it's something that's going to happen. And I try not to, to, uh, let that boil and fester and bubble, but it's, it's just part of the game of CrossFit. Lastly, in terms of the news, we still don't have a 2019 game season rulebook. I would assume that it's probably going to be very similar to last year's with the only caveat being that there's now more events. And so each event might be run a little bit different, but in terms of overall movement standards, things of that nature, I would assume things would be the same. I know some people are still kind of like up in the air, well, like I'm the, I can't do anything because, you know, who knows if I'm gonna violate the rule book. But I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. Um, for the top elite athletes, I'm sure they're trying to do things in a way that is going to make sure that they aren't knocked out of contention for getting to the game. So I think for them, pretty much anything they do, as long as they focus with good intentions in mind, they are probably going to end up going to the games. There's very few people that are probably not going to the games. The, due to something that happens with the rule book. For example, if they're using substances that are banned or they're banned in some other sanctioned event, um, they might that might be a consideration for them being in violation of the 2019 rule book. But, you know, we still don't have it. The, the, the Dubai Fitness Championship, this event, the first event has taken place. We still don't have that rule book. So hopefully with, with, you know, within the next month, we'll get a rule book. Who knows when we're going to get that. So guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Uh, let me know down below what it is that you guys were super stoked on with the Dubai Fitness Championships. And who do you guys want to go to the games this year? So many people that have the ability to get to the games this year. I know for myself, I would love to see, you know, obviously Matt Frazier get to the games. I would love to see Christian Lucero get to the games and I'd love to see Garrett Fisher get to the games. Those are probably some of my favorite athletes. I would love Jason Kleba to get the games, but that's probably not going to happen this year. Who knows, maybe he'll go on a team. Again, who knows what's gonna happen. It's a new landscape, it's a new year. I'm looking forward to 2019. I hope you guys are looking forward to it too. So guys, with that, may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.